Hello YouTube, my name is Ice Fair Bolt King, and welcome my beautiful kings and queens. In the last episode, we had completed the uh, cycling road, and we are here. In this point, I don't even think I battled this trainer. So, actually, let's battle this trainer. No, we did. Um, so let's battle the walking back and forth trainer who is easily avoidable. No, I think we might have battled her too. Do you jog every morning too? The twins. I think the twins are one of the most impactful um, team fights that I remember because this 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 is the uh, one of the few things that I do remember from uh, Diamond and Pearl. I don't know why. Um, I haven't played it since I was eight, so it's a very good study upon you know just like childhood nostalgia compared to remake technology. But jealousy and edible are definitely going to fuck up this fight. Oh yeah. Posing Bonsley attack his spell. Opposing Mom Jr.'s attack his spell. I've intimidated both of them, so this fight might be way easier. Even without heals. Um I think I'm gonna do Peck against Bonsley. And then I'm going to do wing attack on my junior. Oh my god. Yeah, she's dead as fuck. I didn't even expect her to die right away. Experience, baby. Oh. It's not very effective. So flying isn't effective against grass and rock. I think. Bubble, wait, no, I gotta peck him, I gotta peck Bonsley, we got two attacks against him, because we're battling children, um, as all things should be, you know, a uh, adult battle versus a child battle, uh, oh, air effects, or uh, flying effects aren't very effective, that's good to know. Yep, yeah, I got a double kind of uh, air effect notification, so I know now. I don't think I can actually do much towards a grass type, so I will just do normal shit, because nothing's weak to normal, as far as I know, except for probably psychic. Not very effective. Oh, oh great. Oh. Metal is super effective, yep. There goes my, uh, Pokemon knowledge. I don't have very great Pokemon knowledge, as, uh, many of the people in the comment section have implied. Um, you know, I've learned from them, but, uh... It's just kind of just a mean response, or like, oh my god, you don't know what the fuck you're doing with Pokemon? Who are you? This is Pokemon. You should know how to Poke and Mon. I apologize for my Windows bar. I was trying to read a sign, and then I got Window barred. You may register key items in your bag to shortcut buttons for instant use. Simply press the corresponding button to use the registered item instantly. Um, right now I'm going to try setting one of my Pokemon as a follower. Uh, check summary, swap Pokemon, restore a held item and back is what I have, um, but it may be removed after the uh, 1.10 version. Why is Ghastly looking away? Spio! Me too, buddy. Me too.
God damn it, a fucking Starly? Really? I have I have the evolution above Starly, which I believe evolves at level 16 or something around that. Probably 19. I'm good at being wrong. Damn. Master avoiding. Skull... Uh, I, I didn't have enough time to read it, but... This track's actually really re relaxing. I want to go back out there. Only four Pokemon? I'm a beta compared to the, uh, you know, Elite Four. Thank you for waiting. We hope to see you again. Um, just because the, the Elite Four are kind of difficult, um, it's amazing to see difficulty in a Pokemon game, especially how it displays itself, you know, it's like, uh, a childlike Pokemon game, but there is actually a, um, very good level of difficulty in all of it. There are people who will say the game is difficult through no experience and just knowing how much moves do, which is boring, but I've actually kind of experienced the difficulty, like it's not like a complete baby mode game, it's how Diamond and Pearl should be, how Diamond and Pearl was, uh, in a sense, actually. Who are you? I forget why I walked in here. The nursery! Oh, would you like... No, no, not right now. But once I get the old rod, I will definitely be using the Masuda method to farm my shinies. Um, what do you gotta say, Farmer Joe? Breathing in this refreshing air. It even perks up Pokemon. That's why I'm out here. Give me all your berries. I can't take, oh, yep. Yes, I can take them. So many berries just left around the world to sit and uh, rot. Even though when I originally collected these berries when I was like a child in the original uh, Diamond or Pearl, Platinum. I was like, oh yeah, I just gotta m have the most berries, even though I don't even know what the fuck they do. Because they're just here. Yeah, the city is boring, so I'm just gonna walk to 10, which has a lot of trainers and berries, which reminds me that I haven't been here before. What Pokemon? Ponita. The most exciting Pokemon I've seen in hours, but I already have one, so I will run. I couldn't get away, shit. Oh no, it's shaking its ass at me. I bet my water gun will kill it in one move even though my defense just fell. Also, it has the same menu um, as Sword and Shield, this game. Uh, so, a lot of easiness is added. Um, my uh, sleep lock will be coming very soon on release. Um, it will be a live stream, actually, of me not sleeping to beat this game. But honestly, it has the difficulty that old Pokemon games always try to present. An Emerald and Red, and like Red Fire, or Fire Red, um and ruby and anything past that you know it gave the difficulty even diamond and pearl diamond and pearl is actually probably the hardest pokemon game in my opinion like the like the most difficult in sense of uh just playing through definitely diamond and pearl is probably the hardest game and and this game 
um, emulates the difficulty very well. Like, it's not super hard. Like, a, a lot of the earlier Pokemon games, maybe? I don't know. Like, no Pokemon game has ever stumped me, in a sense. So, playing this game, um, has been actually really interesting. You know, XP share never existed beforehand, but I think it just mitigates the difficulty, uh, plus the whole, um, just difficulty sense. I, I, I don't know, like, it, it mitigates how difficult, um, Diamond and Pearl were. But for like a different reason, not a reason that um, Diamond and Pearl originally were hard, you know, because they're not like, they're not hard games, but they take a lot of time, which is interesting about Pokemon because Pokemon is kind of like the definition of like an idle series kind of, where you have four options and you attack things. Um, you know, Pokemon isn't the most interactive type of game. Interactivity brews people watching your stuff. Interactivity means a lot to everything, but the interactivity of just the Pokemon experience alone is really just, how do I avoid these two people that are standing in front of me right now? It would probably be more fun to walk in front of them but walking around them would save me a lot of time. I can get away with slacking off with all my Pokemon out. <laughs> I'll show you how tightly I've bonded with my daughter. That is a gross sentence, but I guess I will test how tightly you have grown with your blonde uh, Aryan daughter. Gunky and Glamio. Jealousy and Edible. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever had this team together. But Jealousy and Edible, I bet we'll just fucking roll through this team right now. I'm gonna peck Glamio, and I'm going to wing attack Skunky. Oh my god, they used to fake out. Too bad. Oh, jealousy flinch. God damn it. Oh, they're not even doing damage. They're gone. These fucking overall wearing bastards. Incense, incest babies. Um, bubble beam to Glamia Skunky. And a wing attack to Glamio. And that hopefully will end the match. No. One more turn. I bet I'll get hit by it. Oh, no, two. That's good. I, I was thinking four. There's a lot of fours in this run. God, I hate Skunky. Skunky is the butthole Pokemon. Worst Pokemon, by far. Like, I don't even give a shit about ice cream Pokemon. Like, Skunky is like the grossest existing thing in existence. It's awful. These fucking overall wearing butthole loving bastards, you know. Oh yeah, I gained XP points. It's too complicated to program in numbers, so we programmed just the word. Oh sheesh! Oh she said sheesh. Parent and child power could never get the job done. What do you mean? Parent and child is like the ultimate bond. You j you guys just suck. 5,208 for winning. Whoa. That's a lot of money. I mean, comparatively to what we received basically from trainer battles. Those are the people I would want to rematch if I was grinding rematches. Wait, what is this? Milk. I don't want mommy's milkies right now. Uh, flowers, not berries. No way of avoidance, except for fooling yourself to walk over here and then walk around again to 
fight this guy. I'm a treasure hunter today. The loot is victory from you. That was my worst accent I think I've ever done in my life. Ruin Maniac Calvin. Throughout Bronzor. Bronzor, actually. Oh, it's raining. So if Bubble Beam is used, it'll be stronger? Bronzor used Confusion. Please don't confuse me. Oh, let's go. I'm so used to just being maximum confused. Fuck you, Bronzor. Bring on the next Pokemon. Twenty-four. Let's go. Swagger. Uh, I don't like the word swag, so I'll just keep my old moves. Level twenty-one. Shulion, will you switch your Pokemon? Keep current Pokemon. I haven't had damage so far. Isn't Shelby on rock? So Bubble Beam will just fuck his shit up. Look at me! Expert gamer. I bet he is sturdy. Hey, Fucking you pokey tubers. I bet you would forget about that shit. Defense? You have one health. And I'm probably faster than you. Your speed would be very helpful. But you're dead, bruh. You're too much to take. A fucking grown man with his little beard. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. 1,380. Holy shit, we're getting rich. The thing is, um, of the things that I have um, learned about this game... Um, once we get to the end, it is going to be hard. So there is a lot of work that I'm going to need to put into this game, like just specifically. Um, especially when I get to the Elite Four, because they're as difficult as they should be. It's not baby tournament, like every other fucking game in the Pokemon series. You know what's crazy? That diamond, brilliant diamond and shining pearl are, I think in my opinion, the best games that have come out in the Pokemon series in a long time. Like, I love shield and sword, but shield and sword are just honestly just boring. Like, the whole shield and sword experience was kind of boring to me. It was really easy. Um... But playing this game actually feels like an old Pokemon game. Like, there's a lot of people who have played through it and will leave reviews of saying it feels like an old Pokemon game. But I'm playing through it with you guys right now. And I can honestly say this feels the same as Emerald or Red. Like, the same experience, the same old time. This game makes no sense, but it's great. Like, honestly, the chibi art style isn't even awful to me. Like, the chibi art style may be the biggest thing people have problems with, but if you look at the sprite compared to the model I have right now, they're probably exactly the same, except for the hat doesn't move. You know? It's faithful. You know, using old game design mechanics compared with new instead of being a new Pokemon game that lets you see in like 3K, 4K, HD, like virtual reality type shit. Like people just get mad. It don't look good, so I don't like it. 
honestly, while I've been playing this game, it's probably the best Pokemon game I've played in seven years. Like, I played X and Y, and X and Y felt short. I beat that game in 12 hours. Like, literally 12 hours. No joke. And then, once I played this game, Diamond... or Brilliant Diamond... I actually feel like I'm playing the game that was meant to be remastered. I hope when I eventually play... that was a bad move. When I eventually play Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire... He died? Isn't Krogon a water type? But he's only poison? Whatever. When I play Omega Ruby, um, because that's the first one, so that's the one I'll play, um, an Alpha Sapphire, even though an Emerald Remake is totally deserved, an Emerald Remake is definitely, like, on the book. Or, Omega Emerald. Omega Emerald is on the book. I speak a lot of bad things, but if, if I was the editor, I'd cut them out, but I don't edit. I just want everyone to see everything, you know, while we're playing through this leaked game. Which has actually given me a lot of nervous uh, contact over the days, because people are like, why aren't you be like afraid of Nintendo suing you and shit like that? But I don't really care. People have leaked the soundtrack for Arceus, which is something planned months beyond the development of the game. Uh, so, while I'm playing it, I'm just like, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't really care. I'm the only person who has the balls to supply the content. Um, so I'll keep supplying it, <laughs> you know, until I get the lawsuit from Game Freak for $250,000. Which is crazy, a lot of the comments on these videos are just like, um, oh I can't wait until you get sued because I'm too pussy to play this game or I don't have a $1,000 computer to play this game. You know, like my first six episodes were taken down. But, you know, there's a lot of support. A lot of people want to watch those episodes that were taken down before this episode, you know. Before we had to have uh, super exclusivity in the sense of the videos. Um, which, which sucks. You know, I don't like being completely private about everything I'm doing. But... There are people who will watch this video and report it because they're mad. They're mad that they don't own the game. They're mad that they don't, they didn't receive the early copy that I did. Uh, but still, you know, I'm still playing it. And they're, they're still mad, no matter what. Like, they're like, oh my god, you're so bad at Pokemon, you shouldn't even be playing this fucking game. And then me. I'm just like, oh, I'm just playing this game. Um, you know, I hate having limited exclusivity on the videos that I've been making. I would love for people to watch them constantly because my performance as a YouTuber would be better for it. Uh, but the people that have watched what I've created so far and watched just all of all of it, like literally all of it, like everything that's been made, because I read the comment sections, I reply to everything as much as I can, um, but it's still like, it's interesting because I've never had so many people look at me before, I'm not used to the social ex aspect of, of uh, content creation. I want to get that item. Now let's go. But uh, content creation has like brought a lot of stress into my life. 
honestly. Um, because I know how many people are watching me constantly based on analytics. Oh, this is the right way, because I'm being challenged. I'll battle anybody! That's how I get better. I'm taking from Veilstone Gem Challenge, but first... You can get fucked by the fucking 1.0.0 user. Oh man, they're both green hair, fucking vegans. Infernape, oh no. That's better than Barry. Oh, this is a good selection. I forgot my Pokemon died. By the way, anybody who is watching this uh, upload thing, uh, this is a limited experience. As in, this video won't be up by noon tomorrow. So anything you're watching right now is, um, exclusive, really. Like, anything you're watching in this video, any footage you see of the game that you won't be able to play for a couple days, yeah, this is all exclusive, because I won't I won't be able to upload this past that point because that's when I've passed the point of being relevant to the people who want this footage. Which sucks. Um, but a lot of people have really just subscribed and made it uh, enjoyable. Like, like, a lot of people who've seen me through this exposure of this leaked content, because I'm the only person with the balls to upload this leaked content, um, have been really kind, honestly. Everyone, everyone who's commented, everyone who's been here with me has been really nice to me. All they care about is having more of this fucking footage, uh, which sucks, but... You guys are awesome. You guys are just... You've been very kind to me. And even if you're a new viewer, which you probably are, based on the statistics I've seen through YouTube and shit, um, I think you guys will be very nice to just see the game. And no if it's worth buying it for you, or if you're one of those people who want to emulate Nintendo Switch and don't have a system to do it, are watching it. Let me tell you that this game is probably the most worth it Pokemon game in a long time. Because even if, even if the fucking, even if Dawn looks like pushy shit, or like, looked worse than anything you've ever seen in your life. This game's good. This game's great, honestly. Like, I, I, I know there's gonna be a lot of clickbait thumbnails that say, like, This is the best Pokemon game made in years. And honestly, like, in the opinion of someone who's played it and who's been dodging the Pokemon team killing him in, in months, it probably is the best uh, Pokemon game. Like, the gameplay doesn't feel as baby mode as all the other Pokemon games. Like, I don't feel like I'm being, like, even though the first three towns are built-in tutorials, like, this isn't the worst Pokemon game ever made. Fuck you, Infernape. 